For four decades as a player and coach, Tom Landry left his mark on professional football. If you look at football, you just think in terms of things that we take for granted, the 4-3 defense. I mean, he was instrumental in developing that. The fame umbrella, which was the forerunner of the zone defenses, Tom Landry. If you go to the other side of the ball, the multiple offenses, shifting, trying to use motion to manipulate the defense, Tom Landry again. In the 70s, when teams started using the nickel, one of the things Tom Landry came up with was resurrecting the old shotgun and using that in passing situations. Makes the catch at the five, touchdown! Carson goes in for the touchdown! When you think about myself, I mean, I was drafted by a computer. How many teams were using, uh, you know, computers to, to analyze uh, prospective draftees? The Cowboys were the first. He said, I want you guys to know what my priorities in life are, and he went, God, family, football. Well, after the meeting was over, we all got to talk and we said, we're never gonna win here. He's got his priorities backwards. Coach Landry really felt that there's no one smart enough probably to run his office, so he had to tolerate us mortals. He didn't particularly like a running quarterback. I mean, I wasn't his model as a quarterback, so we really got along in a way that he would not have predicted. The worst, toughest game without question that we played offensively was when we scrimmaged ourselves. Too many head coaches are willing to blame other people, and uh, he never blamed anybody. 65, we were picked to win the Eastern Division by Sports Illustrated. We finished the first half of the year at three and four. We lost to Pittsburgh up there the seventh game. And he said, I just felt like when I came here that the flex defense and multiple offense was, was going to be the offense and defense of the future. And he said, I feel like I've let y'all down. And he started weeping. And this went on for, seemed like an hour, but it's probably five minutes. Hut, hut. And I don't know what that did, but I think some, it touched all of us. And that was the beginning of the Dallas Cowboys, really. There were future disappointments. An epic battle in the ice in Green Bay. A crushing last second defeat in Super Bowl V. All of which made January 16, 1972, so satisfying. Today, when inspired innovation captured the NFL's ultimate prize, a Super Bowl victory for Tom Landry's Dallas Cowboys. People were beginning to say we couldn't win the big one and all this, and they were right. <laughs> But we finally did it. Sent the message that he was not only a winner as a coach, but he was a world champion. And I, I, so I, I, it meant a lot to him. He won two Super Bowls and recorded 20 consecutive winning seasons. But his legacy transcends his achievements. He was so strong and so smart that I think sometimes we made a mistake as players and looked for him to be perfect. Anybody that came through that organization that didn't understand life a little bit better after being there had their eyes and ears closed because uh, he was a great teacher of life. He was just a special man. I don't know if I'll ever come across anybody that handled himself in a way that uh, he did and, and wanted less uh, of the limelight. He's all you want to believe in a human being, someone that gave a heck of a lot more than he, uh, than, he, than he took out of life. I hope we look at Coach Landry as a great American because he was the kind of person that everyone would have been happy to have as a dad.